All right, y'all. We've been on the market for one of those little 12 volt refrigerators so that you can take camping or put in your car or whatever, or something like that. You know, I looked at the Dometics. I'd love to have a Dometic, but my gosh, I don't want to spend the money that they're asking. So we decided to go this route. And this just came in from Amazon. This is the Bodega, is how I pronounce it, 53 quart. And you can see that the box was beat up pretty good in transit to me. I don't know if you can see back there, but there's a pretty good little tear in it and whatnot, stuff like that. So, anyway, let's start getting this thing unboxed and we'll take a look at this. Okay, so inside the box, you can see they have pretty good packing around it, pretty thick styrofoam cap. And like most appliances, they just have an empty void. What you think, good looking? We gonna use this camping for dog treats? He's gonna put his bologna in it, Dad, when he goes camping. But they got nothing on the sides. And just doing a quick peek on this damage side. Sorry, it's over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it got to anything. So let's get this up out of the box and we'll set it up on the table for y'all. You gonna help, Dad? Okay, here it is. Up on the table. Nice little control panel on there. This fridge, I think we paid around $2.29 for it. I think it was $2.49 and it had a $25 coupon or something. Let's see what we got inside of here. Yeah, a little goodie box in here it looks like. A couple little cardboard flippy things. So, first impression is um, the build quality is pretty nice on it. You can tell it's uh, it's kind of it's just molded. Oh, everybody loves doing this part, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just molded plastic, kind of like a like a nice igloo cooler or something along along the lines of that. It does have little flip-up handles over here. Nothing too spectacular. The lead, the lead is pretty decent thickness. Um, you can tell they probably have some foam insulation inside of the lead or something along the lines of that. It's got these little baskets that lift out. Same on this side. And then you can also remove the center divider if you want it to be just one big section. At least that's what it says in their marketing material. The wheels are interesting as they don't touch the ground, but it's like that because when you tilt it, I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not, when you pick it up to tilt it, the wheels then touch. So let's take a look inside the goodie box. One more cool factor I just noticed when picking this up off the table, this handle is a multifunction handle. It's longer than the other one, I guess, so you can pick it up and drag it on the wheels. Or maybe you can just carry it like this if you want to carry it evenly with the other one. So that's kind of a pretty nice little, pretty nice little feature compared to the one on this end. So we'll see what we get in the little goodie box here. Okay, we got a basic AC to DC power box. Uh, let me see here. 14.5 volt output, which is gonna be a, a direct current, six amp. I'm curious how long this thing will run off my Jackery 240, so that's one of the things we'll be testing with it. You get um, a 12 volt plug. And then of course, this is the AC one. And it looks like we have a small warranty card and a user manual in here. So let's take a look at this manual real quick. Oh, 
safety instruction, operating description. And I'm just going to kind of... Looks like it does have some sort of a Bluetooth app for it, possibly. Maybe it's not Bluetooth. Maybe you have to use it with the USB. Well, no, it has apparently some uh, QR codes here you can scan. Then it goes into the troubleshooting. So what I'm going to do, I am going to power this up and we're going to see how long it takes this to get to a nice refrigerator temperature, okay? Um, now for measuring the accuracy of the temperature inside, I've got a couple of little freezer temperature things, and if I can find it, I've got one of those outdoor thermometers. So let's get this set up and then we'll power it on. Okay, so we've got this plugged in and I turned it on and it looks like it's illustrated pretty good. You got this cube area, which I'm gonna infer. Oh look, there's a little light in here. Isn't that nice? A little LED light is for this section and then you've got a tetra like an l shape area these little like little tetris blocks which i assume is for this section and then we have up here let me see here a little usb port okay so let me get this little cardboard pieces out of here So let's go ahead and see if we can't get these cooled down. Okay, I see. We're gonna put them both at say, we'll do this one over there at say 33 degrees. And this one, we're gonna make the, okay, yeah, this one's apparently supposed to be the freezer section. See, it defaulted to five. We'll do it at five degrees. So, it is very quiet. I'll give it that. You've got a little fan here. So, right now it is 3.57 p.m. What we're going to do is we're going to let this run, oh, I guess about 30 minutes or so. And we'll come in here and we'll see if uh, what these are at. I might check it in 15 minutes for y'all, but we'll see. All right, well, it's been running approximately 15 minutes. 4.13 now. See that cold, or the refrigerator section is at 41. The freezer section is at 71. So I'm not for sure what's going on with that, but I know that divider's between them, so I think, obviously, when one section is getting cold, um, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll come back and check in about uh, 30 minutes. Now I did open it one time to put in a refrigerator thermometer, a manual one, so we can take a look at it. We'll come back and check in about uh, 15 more minutes, which will be 30 minutes total. All right, for my 30 minute update, looks like I had some visitors, visitors come up here, see what I was doing. But, we're at 34 and 36, and this top one, actually, I noticed was at 31 a while ago. So I know it's going to go up and down a little bit. And remember, it's set for 33, and we have this one set for 5 degrees. Right there, right at 30 minutes, folks. So it looks like it's cooling down pretty good, actually. What I'm going to do is give it another 15 minutes or so to stabilize, and I've got my... Uh, well, actually, you know what I'm going to do is give it, I'm going to check it in 15 minutes and show y'all. I bet you it's going to be a full hour, maybe, before this gets down to freezing. Maybe not, because it's dropping pretty good. We'll see how it looks in 15 minutes, because I've got the thermometer in this side. You know, I take that back. I put the thermometer on this side, which is the refrigerator side. So, we'll check it out. Okay, I forgot to set the timer, but we're at... 
443. So we're right at we're right about the the 45 minute mark. It's been another 15 minutes. We're at 29 and 23. Now I noticed a while ago when I walked by that this was 21, and this was like 31 or something. Again, this is set for 31. This is set for five. So I'm going to leave it right here, and we'll check back. Again, it's. Uh, 4.43, so we've been doing this for about an hour. We started right around 4 o'clock, a little bit earlier than 4 o'clock. I'll check back here about 5.30 or 6, and we'll see how this thing is all stabilized out. And we'll pull down in here, and we'll check the, uh, the thermometer I have inside of it. All right, y'all, so we're at just about an hour, and we're at temperature. Now, keep in mind, this is being done in a climate-controlled room upstairs in my game room. So I think it got to what I would call a usable temperature probably in about 15 to 25 minutes or so. Now let's check inside and see what my thermo thermometer says in here. Well, it says right at 30 degrees and it's reading 31 on that side. Let's put it in here in the freezer side. And we'll give it a few minutes to acclimate and we'll see if it's okay on that freezer side too. Okay, so we've been about, oh, I don't know, six or seven minutes right here. Now I opened it a while ago. I see it went up to 11. It just flicked to 12. So I guess that cold side probably takes longer to recover. But let's check our little thermometer and see what it's at. Our thermometer is still showing like 25 or so. Now I had it sitting on this shelf. We all know that cold air settles to the bottom. So let's put it down there and see what happens. And we'll check it here in about five or 10 minutes or so. All righty, 37 and five degrees and we're at 529. So let's check that thermometer one time. To see what it's reading since it's down there in the bottom. Well, it's showing like around 15. So I don't know, this, this might not be very accurate or this might not be very accurate. I don't know. Either way though, it is less than freezing. So I think that kind of shows us what it's doing as far as the cooling in. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I have a 240 watt Jackery that we're gonna run this off a of 12 volt on that and see how long it lasts. Now. My Jackery needs to be charged up, so we'll probably pick up this video tomorrow. Okay, so another thing I'm gonna do is since we're waiting for my Jackery to charge is I've got a couple of bottles of water. I'm gonna put one each, one in the freezer side and one down here in the cooler side. And we'll let those sit in there and we'll see what they look like tomorrow. All right, good morning, everybody. Well, it is now 7.18 a.m. the next day. Haven't opened it all night. We're sitting at 31 and 11. Let's check on those ice bottles. All right, well, this one is frozen. It's starting to squeeze out the end, so it's frozen pretty good. And this one is not frozen, nice and cold. So yeah, I don't know how it works like that, but let's see the thermometer here. We got, well, that's pretty accurate. This is, it's around, well, I take that back. Thermometer is showing at 20 degrees. It said it was 11, but it was sitting right here versus down at the bottom. So we're gonna put it down there. It's odd, this has changed from 31 to nine. So we're gonna start the next stage of our experiments. Let's see if the Jackery is charged up. Okay, so we see our Jackery is now charged up to 100%. So let's go ahead and hook it up and see how long it'll run the fridge for. Okay, so now I've got the jackery plugged in. You can see, this is 
new one to go on. And I turned it off when I was switching it, so let's turn it back on. And I'm also gonna switch this, I notice it's in the max mode, over to eco mode. Now, I don't know honestly what difference that makes, but since it's pre-chilled and I want to do like a longevity on it, we'll see how it runs. All right. Well, again, 7.22 a.m. I have to go work in the office today, so I won't be home until five-ish or something like that and we'll check this out and we'll see what percentage this jackery is at again this is the jackery 240 explorer and we'll see how this works today okay you guys it is now 426 in the afternoon so this thing's been running <coughs> excuse me this spins been burning for what eight hours or so nine hours in eco mode, it's at 32 and nine. And we have, let's see if we get that where you can see it. Sorry, the glare is tough when you get close. 26% left on the jacker. You can also see right there that it's outputting 26 watts when it's running right now. Just jumped up to 28. 26. So, I suspect, gosh, I suspect you should get at least 12 hours or so running off of that Jackery 240 on this one. But hopefully that's some helpful information, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, y'all, so, so far it seems to be doing everything that I want it to do. Uh, I will definitely be using it Probably we'll, we'll be using it quite a bit here this summer, we're going camping a couple of times and trips to the beach and stuff like that when we normally would use a cooler. We'll just have this thing plugged in. But I'll keep you guys posted, let you know how it works out. In the meantime, uh, if you have one of these, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any tips or whatnot as far as that goes. Uh, if you're new to my channel, take a second to click that like button that really helps me out a lot and go ahead and subscribe if you like these types of videos i do videos on all kinds of stuff thanks for watching y'all have a good day